I'm seeing far more patients. Uh, I think uh, on an average, I used to see about eight, nine patients before EHR, uh, two news. Each new patient is an hour examining, taking history, and about 10 minutes, 15 minutes dictation. Uh, each revisit, again, is about half an hour, another 10, 15 minutes dictation. So if the revisit uh, dictation is cut back to five minutes, and that's easy with getting uh, cutting and pasting from the previous uh, record, from previous chart. Uh, so that's 10 minutes for every revisit. So that gives me at least an hour, hour and 15, hour and a half free to see either just go home or to see new patients. With the new SRGs, it's difficult to go home early. find that when you went go when you went to live, go live day, did you initially have to schedule less patients? Yes. You have to uh, you have to close the office. Sorry, the question was uh, when you went live, do you have to close down the office? Uh, you have to close down the office for two whole days for them to install the hardware and link it up. I'm a single one man practice uh, and I've got two office staff working for me. So it wasn't that difficult to rearrange uh, that. I just closed the office for two days and worked on a couple of Saturdays to catch up. Uh, after that, uh, training, especially in drag and, and the use of uh, things like lab orders and uh, other uh, things that I have not gotten into, the automatic uh, coming of lab information into patients' day, uh, charts, I've still got to do that module. I'm halfway through. Now, that takes about half a day, maybe once every two weeks or once every three weeks. So yes, you have to spend the time. You can't expect it to be done automatically by somebody else. You've got to do it yourself. The physician has to do it. I really didn't plan this, to be honest with you. I just jumped into it. It's like trying to learn to swim for the first time. You've got to jump into it. But uh, in retrospect, I should have uh, planned it a little better. Uh, a word of advice, if you're planning to get into the EMR, you can ask your typist now to put it on digital form, to give it to you in digital form on a disk or on a flash drive. So as you're in the process of going through uh, converting to EMR, at least you'll have a few months' worth of uh, patient info on a flash drive or a disk, and that, believe me, saves you a lot of trouble and cost and scanning, employing somebody else to scan documents. Uh, for those of us who don't know much about computers, you've got to learn basic Microsoft commands. You've got to be fairly adept at using uh, Microsoft to be able to uh, pick this up, uh, manage Dragon. Most important, your office staff must be interested in it. If you have an office staff that's not interested in it and is computer antagonistic, you're dead in the water. You've got to prepare to close the office for a few days. Uh, that's a given. Scanning documents is a problem. You've got to employ somebody to scan documents. I didn't. I didn't need all charts. I've got everything on the f uh, flash drive. So when I dictate notes, I dictated all the uh, reports, uh, MRI scans, MRAs, carotid ultrasounds with the dates. So I wouldn't. I didn't need any of the old charts. I just cut and paste whatever I want into the new chart. So as a patient comes, for example, patient for tomorrow's patients probably come in early tomorrow, and pull this off the flash drive and put them in the charts. When you see the patient, I just add. How about all the labs, x-rays, and all that? Well, I don't need all that. Uh, I just need the previous ones. I don't need to look at the MRA five years ago. The last one is the most If the previous one, for example, is a uh, pituitary tumor measuring uh, two centimeters five years ago, and today it measures seven, 
but I've already have that in the dictated uh, information. Uh, the sodium values, the potassium values, that's pointless putting every, all those values in it. Yes? Now, what do you do about your super bills? Uh, what do you do with super bills? Um, my secretary handles that. <laughs> in that in yes, you can. Uh, the IC9 code, you can do uh, it through the computer, but I prefer to do it manually so far because I put the ICD-9 codes myself so that there's no, the, the uh, gals don't make a mistake. So you don't create your super bill as you're, as you're seeing your patients? No, I don't. But you can. You can, yes. you can do it at the end of the day. I hate a consult to be stuck with uh, numbers at the end and all it should be clean. At least that's the way I look at it. Okay, finally, <laughs> if it, and the end of the day, if you're faced with so many charts and making phone calls and uh, uh, sending off uh, prescriptions, and this is what EMR can do for you. Okay, thank you very much.